When discussing the modern behemoths of naval engineering, few ships capture as much global attention as the USS Gerald R. Ford of the U.S. Navy and the HMS Queen Elizabeth of the Royal Navy. Each represents the pinnacle of their respective nation's naval capabilities and symbolizes power projection on the world stage. Yet, with technological advancements and unique strategic philosophies embedded in their design, the question remains, which carrier is better? This comprehensive analysis will dive into the key details, comparing their specifications, power, weaponry, cost, and overall capabilities, with a particular emphasis on the USS Gerald R. Ford, which often stands out due to its state-of-the-art innovations. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the lead ship of a new class of U.S. Navy supercarriers. Named after the 38th President of the United States, it was commissioned in 2017 and marked a significant leap in carrier technology. The Gerald R. Ford class is intended to replace the aging Nimitz-class carriers, which have served as the backbone of U.S. naval power for decades. The Ford's construction incorporated years of research and development aimed at making it the most formidable and technologically advanced carrier ever built. On the other side, the HMS Queen Elizabeth represents a new era for the Royal Navy. Launched in 2014 and commissioned in 2017, it is one of two ships in its class, along with its sister ship, the HMS Prince of Wales. The Queen Elizabeth class was designed as part of the UK's efforts to maintain a strong, versatile naval presence and support joint military operations with Allied forces. The ship reflects British ingenuity and showcases a blend of traditional design and modern technology. The cost of the USS Gerald R. Ford stands at an estimated $13 billion, excluding the significant investment in research and development that was necessary to bring this groundbreaking project to fruition. This colossal sum underscores the complex nature of the ship's design, which includes a host of new technologies, from the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, emails, to advanced radar systems and dual-band radar capabilities. In contrast, the HMS Queen Elizabeth was built at a significantly lower cost of approximately 3 billion pounds, around 4 billion dollars, USD. This disparity highlights the different budgetary approaches between the U.S. and the U.K. While the Gerald R. Ford emphasizes cutting-edge, often untested technology that pushes boundaries, the Queen Elizabeth adopts a more balanced, cost-effective strategy. This choice allows for powerful capabilities without the associated financial burden of highly experimental systems. The USS Gerald R. Ford spans approximately 1,106 feet in length and has a full load displacement exceeding 100,000 tons. This makes it one of the largest ships ever constructed and gives it the operational flexibility required for long-term, high-tempo missions. The Gerald R. Ford is built with a higher, more expansive flight deck that enables efficient aircraft operations. The ship's deck configuration is optimized to increase sortie rates, aiming for a 33% improvement over its predecessor, the Nimitz class. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, while impressive in its own right, measures around 920 feet in length and has a displacement of approximately 65,000 tons. Though smaller than the Gerald R. Ford, it is still among the largest ships in the Royal Navy's history. Its ski jump ramp is one of its defining features, facilitating short takeoff and vertical landing operations for its F-35B fighter jets. While it doesn't match the deck size of the USS Gerald R. Ford, the HMS Queen Elizabeth's design focuses on multi-role capability and interoperability with NATO allies. One of the defining aspects of the USS Gerald R. Ford is its nuclear propulsion system powered by two A1B reactors. These reactors provide nearly three times more power than those in the Nimitz class, enabling the ship to operate at speeds exceeding 30 knots, around 35 miles per hour. This high speed is crucial for rapid global deployment and evasive maneuvers in potential combat scenarios, 
Additionally, the Ford's reactors can power future advanced weapons systems, such as directed energy weapons and railguns, positioning it to remain relevant for decades. The HMS Queen Elizabeth employs a different approach with its integrated full electric propulsion system, driven by two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and four diesel generators. This hybrid propulsion system allows the carrier to reach a top speed of around 25 knots, 29 miles per hour. While this speed is lower than that of the Gerald R. Ford, the integrated full electric propulsion system is reliable and efficient for the strategic purposes of the Royal Navy, which often emphasizes joint operations and extended deployments. The flight deck of the USS Gerald R. Ford is a marvel of modern engineering designed to handle a larger air wing than previous U.S. carriers. It can typically carry up to 75 aircraft, including a mix of F-A-18 EF Super Hornets, E-A-18G Growlers, E-2D Hawkeyes, and the cutting-edge F-35C Joint Strike Fighters. This allows the Gerald R. Ford to maintain air superiority, conduct electronic warfare, and perform early warning and reconnaissance missions. The email system enhances the efficiency of aircraft launches, reducing the physical strain on airframes and providing quicker turnarounds. The HMS Queen Elizabeth, with its focus on the F-35B variant, supports around 40 to 50 aircraft, including helicopters for anti-submarine warfare and troop transport. The F-35B's short takeoff and vertical landing capability is perfectly suited to the Queen Elizabeth ski jump deck, enabling quick launches and landings in a variety of operational environments. While the Queen Elizabeth may not carry as many aircraft as the Gerald R. Ford, it remains a versatile platform capable of projecting air power and supporting amphibious assaults and humanitarian missions. The USS Gerald R. Ford boasts an array of defensive weapons and systems to protect against aerial, surface, and subsurface threats. These include the RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile for close-in air defense, the RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile System, and the Phalanx Close-in Weapon System for last resort anti-missile defense. Additionally, the Ford features an advanced radar system that improves threat detection and target acquisition, providing a robust shield against modern threats. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is equipped with a defensive arsenal that includes Phalanx Close-In Weapon System and 30mm automated small-caliber guns. While it lacks the extensive missile systems found on the USS Gerald R. Ford, the Queen Elizabeth is designed with a layered approach to defense, integrating its armaments with escorting ships and allied support for comprehensive protection. One of the most striking innovations aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford is the use of emails, which replaces the traditional steam-powered catapults. This system is lighter, more reliable, and capable of launching a wider range of aircraft types. The Ford also features the advanced arresting gear, which enhances the safety and efficiency of aircraft recovery. These technologies collectively enable faster and more flexible flight operations. In contrast, the HMS Queen Elizabeth focuses on proven technologies that maximize reliability. It doesn't have catapults or arresting gear, as its air wing primarily consists of short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. This simplifies flight operations and reduces maintenance needs, which can be advantageous during extended deployments. The Queen Elizabeth's design philosophy emphasizes a balance between innovation and operational reliability, aligning with the Royal Navy's global commitments. While the HMS Queen Elizabeth is an impressive testament to British naval engineering and plays a critical role in coalition operations, the USS Gerald R. Ford represents a leap forward in carrier technology. With superior power generation, advanced launch and recovery systems, a larger air wing capacity, and a robust array of defensive weapons, the Gerald R. Ford stands out as the more formidable warship. However, 
Each carrier fulfills its strategic role effectively, with the Gerald R. Ford showcasing unmatched innovation and the Queen Elizabeth exemplifying versatility and joint force capabilities. In the end, choosing which is better depends on the perspective and the strategic needs of their respective navies. The U.S. said Gerald R. Ford undoubtedly sets a new standard in carrier design and capability, positioning the U.S. Navy to maintain air and sea superiority for decades to come. What do you think? Is the USS Gerald R. Ford better? Or does the HMS Queen Elizabeth take the edge? Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the world's most impressive naval technologies.